We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. It is time for evolution. So in today's video, we're going to be speaking about the nature of change and the nature of foreverness or the nature of fixedness. And so the word forever is a character trap. Forever stops growth and promotes laziness. The change, however, change promotes developments and actions. And I'm going to go more into detail in this video. And so when you start to change, you require new people to accommodate the changes that are happening within your character development. So hanging around old friends that don't align with the changes will cause friction in your growth because both of you guys and gals aren't on the same um, wavelength. So due to, the, due to this growth, change must occur. So the term forever traps you in a constant state of trying to uh, get the person on, on the same page as you. However, you know, as you change, people around you must change. You know, nothing lasts forever. And so another example of the fixed mindset in foreverness is that uh, thinking that you are the best artist or the best musician, you know, and it's a fixed, and, and that kind of mindset is like, uh, fixed in foreverness, you know, even even competitive fi fighters or, or, you know, yeah, even competitive fighters, us, uh, competitive sports players, um, that society agrees upon being the best in their field, they're constantly growing and changing, not slacking, constantly training, you know, because someone else could could take their spot in the competition, you know. So some art teachers uh, can feel you know insecure when they see a, a student, you know, excelling greater than them. And a, and, a, and a teacher, a teacher in a, or a professional that's confident within themselves will seek um, more answers from anyone to continue to improve their own craft. You know, and those are you know those are teachers that are actually teaching. They're, they don't have this sense of insecurity. They're actually interested in growing, learning, and teaching. That 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 is genuine. That is like becoming the student and and the master at the same time. You know, so. And these people will become, you know, inspired by those that perform better than them. You know, even if even if it is their students, they will learn from their students as well. When you believe that you're you've already achieved that level of uh, wherever you want to go, you stop growing in all areas of your life. When someone gets to that level of perfection, uh, it's important to keep learning and expanding. You know, humans grow until we die. And we're in a constant process of change. The word forever is stagnant and unnatural. People become successful when they take risks. The word forever and risk cannot operate within the, the same uh, uh, wavelength. So risk requires change. And when you get comfortable within your craft, it's best to find ways to challenge yourself to the next level. <clears throat> and so once you challenge yourself and you get comfortable with the challenge, then you find newer ways to challenge yourself, to expand yourself, and, and, and it's constant. And so, like, the idea of death is stagnant and forever. Life is about change and growth, you know? So when you stop aging, you die physically. When you stop learning, you die mentally. When you stop your passions, you die spiritually. And when you don't expand on your crafts to new levels, you die in, in skill growth. And so nothing in nature lasts forever. Everything is in a constant state of change from seasons to cycles, the death and rebirth cycles, if you're into reincarnation, you know, or just, similar, but just by looking at nature, the, the trees die out in, in the season of fall and they come back to life in, in the season of summer. You know, when our, when our bodies, our, even our bodies, even our bodies, they aren't, they aren't the same as we, 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 we once were, you know, as we age, you know. There are cycles in our body that the, when, when the cells die, you know, the cells die and then they replace themselves with, with new cells. And so you don't have the same body as you used to have as a child. So on a, on a surface level, it gives the illusion that the cells are still there and just growing. But on a microscopic level, cells are dying and changing. Therefore, cells do not last forever. The skin that you have now is not the same skin you had as a child. It's a new set of cells. And so society has trained us to be afraid of change, live a comfortable life. School systems destroy our, our, our passion for learning. They shame, they shame people for having alternative views, never stepping out of, you know, their comfort zone when it comes to new information. And, you know, and we see this in the censorship going on on the Internet regarding the C-19, which is why people are moving towards, you know, creating uh, decentralized websites. You know, there's a, a revolution on censorship happening, you know. 
and 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 science science is not a fixed doctrine it should be open for questioning new discoveries and and debates and that's that's the true nature of science in today's times it's a, it's a mental war going on you know if if you if you laugh at a, at a uh, opposing view or if a person thinks they know what's right or without you know being open to what, what the other party has to say it's a form of cognitive dissonance and, and the funny thing is people who have a cog- cognitive dissonance won't admit that they have cog- cognitive dissonance so they, they or they feel afraid to look stupid you know it, it's a it's a mentality of, of fixed foreverness and, and, it, and it opposes uh, fluid change I remember in college I did a art history essay and I mentioned the potential visitation of extraterrestrials influencing certain ancient Neolithic uh, cave paintings and she crossed out the entire paragraph and told me to leave it up you know it, it was as if you know I was restricted from a, a expa- expanding or explaining you know the way I was thinking the I was I was restricted from you know critical thinking or expanding my imagination e- even further you know trapped in a box of foreverness and in, in modern times you have bill, bill, billionaires trying to uh, find ways to transfer their consciousness into into AI or finding ways to to, to, to extend you know gain you know internal life or expand their lifespan you know forever you know our religions are, are based on forever maintaining a personality construct the ego as if the name as if the name John or, or Sally will, will, will pass on as you you know when you pass on to to whatever paradise you believe in you know so however like when 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 that passing does happen it makes me think you know how can a person grow and expand in a state of a fixed bliss with no contrast in their life when they go to that paradise after death you know so we can also say that that heaven and hell exist within the mind because through our thoughts actions and focus and getting rid of a negative self-talk the, the this mindful heaven can exist regardless of external events that happen in, in in our lives you know so this is what you could call enlightenment or taking back you know your personal power you know losing attachments to the idea of foreverness foreverness or fixedness in embracing fluid change and the reason i'm bringing this up is is to show that you know it's, it's just to state how much the idea of uh, foreverness is embedded is embedded into our culture you know and when it comes to you know romantic relationships or religious beliefs you know etc even in our tv shows most time you see the villain trying to achieve immortality or expand their lifespan you know to get to become forever or you know to live forever we see this in, in dragon ball z frieza or roshimaru from naruto he wants to learn all the jutsus and you know live forever you know and, and so many in so many you know different scenarios you know so it, it's it, so it's like this is like a, a common uh attachment it's like a attachment to the, to the personality construct the ego you know because the ego because uh because when when death comes the ego dies too and so the ego will try to preserve itself in foreverness and it's opposed to change it's against change and from my experiences growing up you know i've encountered people that have attachment to attachments to materialistic objects or, or, or materials, you know, such as clothes, shoes. I remember one time in elementary school, I accidentally stepped on someone's Nike shoes, and they were pissed and ready to fight me. And so it got me thinking that not only do we have an emotional attachment to objects and materials in such a way that that we we want them to last forever, we, we want their conditions to last forever. Some people care more about objects more than people's safety. You know, it's like there's an agenda to reverse our natural way of thinking it. And create a consumer-based society, in in which you know we love items and use people instead of use items and love people. And an artificial reality is given more importance to an authentic reality. So many many people lie on their their job resumes just to get called for an interview, or people put on a fake persona to appear professional, or appeal to the masses. Many people have taken their their fake personas online. And have created conflict with themselves. So, for example, like you know, YouTubers or you know, 
just people they, they create this uh, another persona to uh, an entertainment persona you know so they create this entertainment persona and it, and it comes in and it, and it creates conflict with their real selves to the point where they face so much internal confusion, they go to uh, commit suicide. And it, and it leaves fans wondering why the suicide was committed, that the, the person seemed happy on the surface, you know. But in actuality, you know, you don't know what that person was going through internally, you know. So in this worldly system that mankind has created for himself, you know, profit is rewarded more than morale, you know. You know, caring how how it will affect the other party, the the animals, or the environment is is disregarded. You know, just look at what happened with the burning of the Amazon rainforest. You know, and so and, and even like some women, they use makeup to you know, they they use makeup, and then when you remove the makeup, they they look totally different. It, it's like the system promotes you know illusions and, and artificial realities. You know, you know, fake food, fake appearances, fake personalities. You know, there's a reason why people love authenticity because it's nature, it's, 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 it's natural. And also what makes a film or, or movie interesting, it's usually the different spectrums of the, of the main character or the characters that you have in, in, in the show. You know, the different, the different changes and in spectrums, it, it, that's what's natural. You know, we like to see the change of a character's growth. We like to see different changes in, you know, just emotions, usually in horror. They, they, they're very skilled in like uh, kind of building tension for that you know it becomes very boring when it's foreverness it's still it's fixed it's fixed emotion the character doesn't change but it's forever there's no story to to tell there you know and so to get back on topic in terms of change and foreverness most people are continuing the karmic debt of their family lineage so in other words you know family traumas or family belief systems that may, that may have been passed down onto you, you know? So we have to come to like, do some self, self evaluation, you know? Are these, are the thoughts that I'm true, uh, thinking truly mine? Do they belong to me or, or were they, they influenced by, by certain people? Which thoughts were influenced by the certain people? Which thoughts are my, my own thoughts? What do I truly believe? And most importantly, we we have a forever mindset when it comes to ourselves. Rather, the term forever is used positively or, or negatively. So it creates, you know, expectations that people, things, or limited mindsets will last forever. You know, for example, you have life experiences of you being shy or bad at mathematics or bad at art. You know, maybe it maybe it was it wasn't you but it was due to like a, a teacher didn't teach well you know it didn't teach in a way that you understood and because of the constant collection of negative memories of you associating with learning that topic the limiting beliefs that you've gained that you have towards the topic has now become associated with your identity in other words, a virus has been installed into your mental computer causing it to slow down. And we must clean that virus by using antivirus software. And what is the antivirus software for, for the human mind? The software is constantly creating positive and beneficial mem memories for ourselves. You know, and keyword is, is constantly, you know, consistent, you know. And I go more into detail with, with that in my previous video, a new person, new, new memories video. You can check that out. And so grow by changing every day mentally, emotionally, and physically, you know, and don't project your mind into the future thinking relationships, objects, and, and life situations will last forever. And, and focus on bettering yourself in the present moment. The future is nothing more than a continuation of present moments. So live in a state of flow.